Good morning, guys. What's up? Welcome back to another video. Finally, oh, it's been a minute since I've been hunting since Texas, and um, I'm back in Azon with my uncle. This is new territory to me. I am in a north. It's very appreciative that my uncle is willing to uh, bring me out to his spot. I did have a mis problem yesterday. Um, we've been here since yesterday. But in town, while I was helping him work on his bow, um, servicing his bow for him, we went to shoot my, his bow, and uh, I was shooting my bow. And I have never actually shot, like, the hay range. And uh, we did some broadhead practicing. My arrow went all the way through the uh, target and it disappeared so I went to retrieve my arrows all my arrows went into the hay target and uh, you know, they all disappeared but I could see the, the tips protruding out the back of the hay target and so in pushing my arrows out I stuck my hand uh, with my rod head so it's it's not bad, but it's pretty bad. It hurts, but it doesn't hurt at the same time. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. See if I could <laughs> pull and shoot my bow today. Okay, so yeah, be very careful. You never know what might happen. I did fortunately have a first aid kit. And uh, I was able to treat my wound really quickly, but it's a really deep. Uh, my blade went in about a quarter of the tip, right into my knuckles, in between my two veins. I was kind of worried because I thought I had gotten my veins. Fortunately for me, it didn't get my veins. Anywho, so yeah, it's the last weekend of archery season for Azone.
like I do it at 7.30. And uh, I decided to go around my trail. <laughs> Sitting is just not my style. But right there is a boom. You can't get a true trail fresher than that. So that's a very fresh true trail.
so I'm putting my camera down again. Bam. I see a little fawn pop up. And then the doe pops up. And then the second fawn pops up. So they're just looking at me. I don't think they care that I see them. I guess they just saw me walk away. But that blow me. Like I said, I have no idea why they started blowing. I might get lucky, but I'm gonna another deer. Oh, you just get the idea. Can't cross my fingers. So here's the power crap I was talking about. That made me decide to take this trail. This deer trail over here. Which led me down there. This way, this one goes down, and down there is where they were blowing. They're way down there, and then I was way down over there. And those that doe and the fawns were right here, behind me here. I was down over there, and they were down deep in there blowing. So, who knows? The deers might still be down there. my first time out here in the Mendocino uh, zone hunting deer. I wasn't really sure what to expect. So uh, my whole goal was to sit at a spot and I told him that I could sit there. And uh, I'm just going to go crash into the woods and find some of them. <laughs> He's doing the same thing. He and I are just alike. So I'm going to get back to the hunting. with you guys it was 8 15 it's 9 12 and i don't know what i want to do they're feeding and moving because back
took a break. I came down pretty far, but not that far either. I'm about three miles from the car. So I hiked in about three miles and then stumbled upon this logging road. Uh, it doesn't actually show where, I think this, I don't even know where this logging road goes. Um, unfortunately, it goes onto the section of uh, the map that I didn't download. Um, because I only downloaded a five mile section of where I'm hunting. It's actually all national forests around me. But my uncle had told me this is where we're going to hunt. So I was like, I doubt I'm going to hike more than three miles. So I literally just downloaded a five mile radius, square radius of the center of where we're going to camp before we came in. And I hiked three miles out. Now I'm at the end and it doesn't show me where this trail goes. It's just blurry. So what I'm going to do, because my uncle called me and he told me to go back. I'm going to hike back. I'm going to put the camera away, but because of how I have this set up, if I see anything, I'll just turn it record. And I also got this, but I got to try to make it back to camp because uh, I got kind of like bad signal over here because I'm too far from my uncle. So my radio is very staticky. I'm going to slowly make my way back, try not to pop anything out. I have a couple ideas of where I want to sit if we do come back in here. So let's see how that goes. All right, guys, like I said, we bought the Jeep and uh, we just kind of, as you can see, rode this. <laughs> we just backed up into kind of in the middle of nowhere. There's uh, really no roads coming in here. We're just went off-roading is what it was. Got back, just dropped my gear right here on the ground. He threw his on his car. Uh, because we got here kind of late, we just kind of cleared up a little campsite for us. It's literally just plopped in the middle of nowhere. Got my little canvas tent. And we're gonna eat. And then uh, I found a buck. I found a big old three by four buck. I think it was a three by four. But yeah, I saw the buck, the wind changed. And before I could really get any shot of him, he uh, took off on me. So I went following him for a long while. But yeah, we're back at camp. Me and Mongo's gonna eat for a little bit. Uh, and we might go sit that buck. I mean, he didn't go anywhere. He just went to the thick stuff. He's probably gonna come back out. So we're probably gonna go back after him. <laughs> so yeah, that's the plan. If I could convince my uncle, I might have him take me and uh, we'll go. I found a really good glassing point over there. Let's go sit over there and glass for bucks. Hopefully we'll see some. I mean, we're never gonna go after them because they're so far away, but. There was supposed to be a fire out here, but there's zero smoke. It's super clear sky. This morning was super overcast. And today feels freaking awesome. Kind of warm air though. But yeah, I'm gonna eat and uh, we'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, here we go. Round two. We're just gonna go sit, so. It's gonna hike in. And let's go sit. It's so dark. What's the plan? We're gonna both go sit this park different locations, but we're going to go in the same area. Mm -hmm. This heat is killing all my batteries. It's crazy how fast my batteries are running out. My phone is almost that battery. My GoPro is running half life. So I'm not running the camera right now. I'm just going to run the phone and the GoPro. Anyways, yeah, so I can go in there. And, oh, we're running something. We're gonna sit until last light. We know the buck was there this morning. So, hopefully, he's there again later on. Maybe we catch on the way back. I'll see you guys when I get to wherever I wanna sit. And, uh, like they say, just sit to death in the seat.
I ended up sitting at that tree for a few hours and the buck never came back. So the last hour I climbed back up to the top and just glass hoping to find him or find another buck to stock the next day. The evening glass came up dry. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to just take my word for it. The next day I end up bombing into that valley where the does are blowing and I bumped the buck out and the buck ends up running on that very trail that I was sitting on in the morning right past my uncle. Unfortunately, my uncle had moved 10 minutes before the buck had actually showed up. So he gave us a slip and we came up dry. But with that buck in mind, my uncle plans to come back with his rifle during the general season with a few buddies and try to put him down. I'm still waiting for the news if he got the buck or not.